Hey everyone, welcome to another super short video. I think I even kept this one almost at full speed just because it was so fast. So today's prompt, I'm trying to follow, I think it's doodle wash prompts for July watercolor month with partial success since uh, today is the July 13th and I have only made four till now, but I have very good intentions and you know how those go. So uh, anyway, today's prompt or the 4th of July prompt was family fun. Now this was kind of giving me a bit trouble because I didn't want to start like sketching our family and I don't know, I just, uh, I, I really want this to be like super, super easy. So I think uh, the point is for me here to just think a little bit about the concepts and then kind of make them my own. So I thought about family fun, then I thought about our summer plans, which are to go to America. And what do you know? I have this cute little stamp, it's not so little, from Tim Holtz and I love his blueprints series. I'm too cheap to get more, but I have this one travel set that I just adore. And I've used the camera so many times. I just love it. There you go. Travel blueprint. And I thought I could use just this globe as our plans for family fun. Hopefully it will be fun. So I got a very funny comment <laughs> um, asking me if I know how hot it is in California in August and if I'm willing to uh, experience uh, temperatures of hell. <laughs> so yes, I'm aware. Thank you to that very concerned viewer. <laughs> I'm aware I've been to California in August, although that was probably when the earth was less uh, boiling than it is now. And I also come from a very, very warm country where we have very, very hot summers. I suspect as bad, if not worse, as they are in Los Angeles. And I now live in Europe and I've lived here for eight years and I can feel how the temperatures are rising. When I just move in in the summer, we would have like one week that was super hot. Now it gets longer and longer. And unlike warmer places like Los Angeles, I'm guessing, and Israel, um, there are very few air conditions here. Like houses are not air conditioned and uh, a lot of establishments are not air conditioned. So our house is certainly not. It is uh, definitely more insulated as houses tend to be in warmer countries from my uh, experience. But uh, yeah, we don't have air conditioned. So I think I am equipped <laughs> to face the terrifying um, challenges ahead. And hopefully we will survive and live to tell the tales. So now comes the watercolor fun. I do, you know, I'm trying to keep things super simple. So I'm using stamp, I'm using stickers, but I do want to use watercolors on every single page. And yeah, so I'm just, you know, coloring the oceans with some blues. And then I'm going to add uh, just some other paints, I think. What I'm hoping that you will get from this series is that you really don't need to be any kind of like watercolor master or anything to participate in these types of uh, events or challenges. You know, there's a lot of like social media. If you are on that platform and you want to like increase your following or something like that, I'm really bad at like sharing these with hashtags and all that. I, I'm just, I think I'm too old school for that. But uh, this is a, like a really great way to participate in these types of challenges. And then people just, you know, they follow the hashtag and they can uh, find you this way. So you don't need to be some master. You can stay very, very basic and simple and use kind of shortcuts like stamps and stickers that I'm using, but still really have fun and enjoy. And yeah, to me, watercolors is such a magical medium. And anytime I get to paint with them, 
I always have a good time. So hopefully these short, sweet videos, hopefully sweet for you too, can kind of get your creative juice flowing and not be intimidated by attempting something like this. So thank you for watching. I will see you soon in another video. Bye.